Hi, Tracy here. Today I'm just going to show you how you can take your personal MP3s and actually um, convert them and upload them to your iPhone so you can listen to them like you would if they were podcasts. So have you ever um, signed up for an online course or a um, even a live s uh, summit or seminar where they actually give you the record audio recordings of the presentations to take home or download? So um, I found this just about every year when I go to social media marketing world and I get all these great audio recordings and I never get to listen to them and it's because they are on my desktop computer they're downloaded there and I want them on the phone so I can consume them when I walk or while I'm waiting now I could drag them and drop them into my songs on my on my phone the problem is it gets all mixed up with with my songs and I can't keep track where I'm up to what I found was that if I converted them to audio books and I listened to them through the iBook app on my iPhone I can keep um, track of where I'm where I'm up to um, and the other good thing is that because I'm so used to listening to podcasts at one and a half times speed it's really hard to listen to audios now at normal speed when you're listening to an audio book through the iBook app you can actually increase the speed of playback so that's two benefits and to do that all you need to do is make sure you've downloaded all the mp3s and they're on your hard drive somewhere and what I do is I create a new folder in my my music folder called audiobooks and then I actually um, create another folder for the event the title of the folder here will actually become the album in your um, in your iTunes so just be mindful of that when you do create the folder name so inside the folder put the mp3s and I've just got a couple there that you want to pull into um, iTunes and play through iBooks then go back to your iTunes and go into uh, file if you haven't already done this file add folder to library go and find the folder that you've just created and that's it there and then I click select file and you can see that these are I've actually added looks like a, f a few double ups there but um, so they, they've come through and there's the album name there and I'm actually in music songs so I could leave them there and listen to them but you know they get all mixed up and and I wouldn't be able to speed up the playback. What I need to do is convert them to an audiobook. So that's um, so I've just uh, I just highlight all the songs um, which are actually um, uh, audio recordings of presentation. I right mouse click and click on get info. So I can edit all these at the same time in one go. So I can go edit items and then I go and see there's the album title and I go into options and I change music to audiobook and go OK. They will then move from my songs folder, my music songs folder into, in a minute, into uh, books. So if I go into books and I click on audiobooks uh, I will see all these let's go over to albums see there's my album there's my album there and I've been gradually adding adding audio files so these um, now are all in as audiobooks so they're on my PC I need to now get them onto my iPhone so I have my iPhone connected and I can just drag and drop the audios onto my P um, onto my iPhone and as it syncs it might take a little while 
they'll actually be added to my iPhone. So when I open up my iPhone, um, I just click on the iBooks app. So the iBooks app is the orange book. So it's this one here, iBooks. And inside there, that will have all my albums, my audio book albums, as collections. So then I can start listening to you know, and select the SMM W15 folder and start listening to the recordings and I can select a faster speed as well. So once I've opened up the app I can then select the compilation or the collection of books here so there's the social media marketing world 15 and then once that's open I can actually speed up the playback woohoo and the good thing is is if you're listening to a series then you can still go back and listen to your iTunes um, your, your music on your iTunes and it won't disturb where you are at in the iBooks because it's a separate app so you don't get lost along the way so I hope that helps and so that you can consume more of that valuable content that, um, that you get. Let me know in the comments if you have any problems. Thanks, bye!